Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made these super delicious beef and butter cups for 80-20 animal fat protocol. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds. Actually, I'm going to start saying over 130 pounds. <laughs> I, I, somewhere up there. Um, if you are new here, I hope you check out some of my other videos and my website. And for returning subscribers, I hope you like today's video. Okay, let's go over what is in these beef and butter cups. It is really simple. One pound of ground beef and one stick of butter. Now apparently it's not as simple as it sounds because in my last video I mentioned the pound of ground beef and how it fits into the 80-20 of animal fat uh, versus protein and I had so many comments, um, it, it was confusing because I, when I say 80-20, I'm not talking about the percentage of beef versus fat in this ground beef. You know, there's regular, lean, extra lean, all, all that. I am talking in terms of macros. So up here on the screen, you will see a breakdown of this exact product. On the back, I bought this at, for Canadians, by the way, I bought this at Save On Foods. They're one of the few places around me that sells regular ground beef. It is the closest to our 80-20 target. I'm gonna show you the back. The back has nutritional information. So what I did is I went into Carb Manager and I put in the regular ground beef, 100 grams, which is the same as what they're saying here. So if you look at this little graphic on the top that you'll see, you're going to see the breakdown of this 100 grams of regular ground beef. And you'll see the little pie chart. The orange part is the percentage of calories from fat. It is 76.8%. And the blue part is the protein, 23.2%. That is what I am talking about. I'm not talking about the makeup of, you know, how much fat and how much protein is, is in this by how they sell it, if that makes any sense at all. But I hope this little graphic clears up for you the confusion. This is very close to 80-20. And we are going to add a stick of butter. Now, the butter caused some other confusion in one of my previous videos. The sticks of butter here, I believe, are the same as in the U.S. One stick is a quarter pound. This is a pound. And there's four of these in here. So one stick is a quarter of a pound by weight. So that is four ounces. But by tablespoon, uh, and the measurements are here on, I mean, I don't know if they do that where you are, but here they have a little printed guide. There's eight tablespoons. Hopefully that is clear as well. So eight tablespoons of butter, one pound of meat is going into this recipe. Um, so I, let's just talk about this for a second. Oh, before I forget too. Uh, I didn't come up with this on my own. So this recipe I actually learned from Kelly Hogan and I'm gonna link a couple of videos from her down below. Uh, she is, her YouTube channel is called My Zero Carb Life. Um, I've been following her for a long time. So recently she's had two videos that I'm going to link below. One is an interview with Amber O'Hearn and they talk about this idea of pushing your fat up and your protein down. They're calling it 80-20 uh, animal fat. Some people just call it 80-20, which we have already found out can be confusing. So that's what this is all about. And oh, the other uh, video that I'm going to link is Kelly's interview with Dr. Bright, who has written a book about how women are not getting enough fat. 
and they need more of it. And so I am trying to sw switch my protocol over to that range. And so that's what my videos, uh, my recipes are all about right now because I'm learning this as well. I am, you know, no expert on this. I'm, I'm falling all over the place as well and not every meal has been perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I am getting to that point where I'm understanding it. So I thought Kelly's little, um, she made like kind of fancy little muffins from butter, uh, the tallow that comes off the meat and crispy ground beef. I tried them and I love them. So I made them in this. Well, actually that's not true. I made them in my air fryer and then I put them in this to freeze. So that's, that's how I did this with this shape. Now, uh, when I saw them uh, from Kelly, I saw what she did. She had some fancy silicone. Now this would work as well. These are snowflakes, so very seasonal coming up to Christmas. Uh, I actually might try, I think I might put what I'm gonna make today in here to see if I can make them a little prettier um, because they look so pretty. I have blue and pink, so let's do that today. But I just wanted to say, not everybody has these molds. You can just take a, you can freeze them in here. Uh, just, just lay it out here, cut into six or eight or four, you know, however many, and then put it into Carb Manager and divide. What I'll do is I'll provide you for the macros for six equal pieces because um, that's kind of what I've been doing. You could double the recipe and put them in here. Make 12 at once. And as soon as I tasted it, I realized that was my mistake. I should have made 12 because <laughs> they were really good. I really liked them. And that's why I want to share it with you because once we're done here with adding the butter, um, and making it like this, I don't have to think. I know that if I eat one of these or two of these for a meal or as part of a meal, I'm automatically at that 80-20 mark. So mindless, I don't want to eat mindlessly, but I don't want to have to think too much about this either. So let's get started. I'm going to open my ground beef. Okay, before I preheat my air fryer, um, I, I have the Ninja grill that has an air fryer basket, um, which I won't be using. I'm not gonna use this air fryer basket. I'm actually gonna roast this. If you have an air fryer that is different from this, like say one of those round ones with the thing that comes out, you can t certainly do this as well. Um, just, I, I don't know what your particular one will look like. Um, but I think you can probably remove the basket if needed and just put this at the bottom or maybe use the basket, but uh, save the stuff that leaks out underneath because that's part of the recipe. So however you do it, I, I would imagine that you could even put it in a, a, like spread out your ground beef in a roasting pan and do it in the oven. Put your butter on top, do it in the oven. I, I'm sure that would work. I can't tell you exactly how long. Um, bake until crispy is what I would say. And, you know, cause I haven't tried it myself, but I just like the convenience of doing it in here. So that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I've got the bottom of my air fryer here, or my grill, whatever you, you know, I always call it an air fryer because I use it more for air frying than pretty much anything else. So I'm going to take out the ground beef. I'm just gonna dump it in there actually. And I'm going to spread it out nice and thin on the bottom, just with my fingers, so that we have a layer of ground beef on the bottom here. Okay. Oh, I better turn this on now, let it warm up. So I'm going to uh, roast it at 400. Okay, got my stick of butter. Actually, I'm gonna put some, now you don't have to put salt on it. I have my salt and white pepper mixture. Um, I'm very sensitive to black pepper, white pepper, no problem. 
Uh, and this is a mixture of three to one kosher salt and white pepper. I'm gonna put a teaspoon on top. And like I said, you can leave it out. You can add, you know, your own favorite seasoning if you're, if you're into that. Whatever you are able to, to tolerate, whatever your protocol is. And my stick of butter just goes on top. But that's what you're going to put in your machine. There we go. Okay, it is ready. So carefully put it in. Close the lid and let it go. I'm gonna come back in about 10 minutes and show you what it looks like at the halfway mark because I may stir it around. Um, but we'll see you in the next segment. Okay, so we're about at the halfway mark. I wanted you to see what it looks like. You can see that it is, it's getting crispy on top. So what I'm doing is, and you can use a wooden spoon for this. Um, I wouldn't use anything metal because uh, you know you can scratch up your basket. Um, so I'm just breaking it apart because I want more of it to uh, get crispy. But oh, it smells amazing. It's cooking in all this butter. I just love how easy this recipe is. Okay, I'm gonna let it go for the end and we'll see you when it's done and we'll make our little cups. And they are ready. Whoa, look at that. I love it, they're crispy. Crispy bits, crispy bits. Are always good. So here we are. They are, it's, this is smoking hot, so you know, be careful here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out these crispy bits. Crispy bits. And divide them as best I can amongst these uh, snowflakes. Um, put it on a sheet though, because the next step is to put this in the freezer. And uh, you know, these are quite floppy, so we don't want you spilling hot grease everywhere. Okay, so let me get this closer. You could make these a little smaller, um, you know, like chop them up with a wooden spoon or something. I'm just gonna go as is, try to divide it up as evenly as I can. I feel like I could almost make eight out of this, but already figured out the macros for six. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get them all in here. I think these snowflakes are just a little smaller than my muffin cups. This meat is still hot. All right, so then the next step, and this has to be done carefully, of course, is to pour all this butter and tallow over top. So I'm just gonna grab a second glove. Okay, so be very careful, because uh, this is uh, pretty hot grease here where we're talking. So I am going to pour a little bit over top of each one. I'm thinking that next time, I might even put two sticks of butter in so that I, uh, I get a little bit more um, butter tallow mixture. Um, I mean, this is how I did those muffin cups and I liked the fact that there was still some uh, ground beef sticking out from the top but I could put even more fat in here to make them, just to make that fat rise higher up in the mold. <coughs> now I'm going to take this to the freezer. You can probably in about an hour or so take these out, um, but I'll see you back when these are frozen and show you what they look like and how they came out in the little snowflake container. <laughs> All right, see you in the next segment. Okay, so I have taken this out of the freezer. It's been a couple of hours, and so it should be, they should be well formed. Uh, so I'm going to just try and, that's, this is the thing I love about silicone is you wouldn't be able to do this in a, in a metal cup. Oh, look at that pretty snowflake. Now I did notice a piece of 
this uh, came off. So here's, here's the problem with the way I did it. I've got these nice deep muffin pan holes, but the butter and tallow mixture only came up halfway. So that means that uh, some of the top will get crumbly. Um, which is fine. So um, because this is frozen and just came out of the freezer, um, it's going to be too hard to bite into, at least for my teeth. So you want to let it sit and soften up a little bit. Just want to show you the, the snowflake side. Yeah, they, I mean, they turned out from that perspective, but I think I would like the fat that's holding it together to go all the way down. Uh, so that would require probably two sticks of butter to the one pound of meat that I cooked in there. So I do have macros for this and each one of these, because I divided the whole thing into six and the macros will be up on the screen as well. So each one of these uh, beef and butter cups or muffins or pieces is 355 calories, 13 grams of protein, 34.3 grams of fat, and the uh, fat to protein is 85.5% fat, 14.5% uh, protein. So well into that 80-20 animal fat ratio that you're looking for. To me, these are a great grab and go idea. I mean, I could take these to work. Um, or I could just grab one out of the freezer, put it on a plate. Um, so thanks again to Kelly Hogan for coming up with this brilliant idea. I've seen uh, quite a few different variations now uh, on Facebook where people are, you know, making them into bars and different shapes and things. Awesome idea. And uh, I hope you guys try it out as well. And uh, check out the links below that I left to those interviews that Kelly made with Amber O'Hearn and Dr. Bright. And check out Dr. Bright's book. It explains all of this way better than I can. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.